Hello, I'm the Fixer Host, Reese here. I'm here to proudly present you our last video, our 19th installment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. So what is it today? Well, as it is, we're going to get into the wave of things and wave away into our 16 tr tricks that you could do down the park and at the beach. Without any further ado, let's get to these 16 tricks right now. Here, I'm going to be showing you them outside and inside. Without any further ado, Let's reel them in. Okay, so here is our first trick on our 19th installment. And that is the Under the Sun Magic Bubble Wand Stick Trick. Here's what this one will stick like. Okay, so here I've got my uh, stick here. Watch. And by magic, I get more sticks with it. From the big one. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret is very simple. I'm going to teach you the ins and outs. All you need are these um, bubble sticks. Is three and it's on and attached to it as a hinge. What you want to do is have them a little bit out and holding a hand and pinch by the fingers with the first one. Be very quick as you do this and brush away. That way you get these with this. Make sure you hold this. That way it looks like it's individual ones. So again, I'll show you. From here, and then end up doing that. And by magic, producing two bubble sticks just from one. So now you know how it's done. So go have fun with it. Very packable, very, very light, very easy to take with you down to the park and at the beach. And that right there is how you do the Under the Sun Magic Bubble Wand Stick Trick. I'm here going to get into the Sun of the Sea Cell. And coming into our second trick, that is the Magic Sun Sea Cell Trick. Here's what this Sun Cell will look like for this. I will see you back in my place for this one. See my uh, sun cell here? I'm gonna go get some sand first. Okay. Got a little bit of sand here. Watch. The magic, I get embers from the sun cell. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal. Okay, for this you're going to need is a sea cell, not any sea cell, a fake one that happens to be a candle that you'll see just right here. What you'll need is a lighter and some cinnamon. That way you get this, it's like sand, basically, basically. You can say, and you can get my mask called sand from this one. So you're going to place that aside and give this a light. When that mixes in with it, we'll give the embers. This will create our sun. So here, and on here, it looks like the sun. Go get your sand. Also known as cinnamon. And then do this. Make sure you don't accidentally put uh, put out the sun. With that, go over. And end up doing that. Get a little bit more, and you'll get more action with the sun shell. And you can also blow on the flame and end up making it dance. And that right there is how you do the magic sun seashell trick. 
Now here we're gonna get something pretty amazing. It goes into an ice cube. You're gonna get something from it that is found in the deep. A fish. A fish from the ice cube. Now coming into our third one, and that is the summer magic fish cube magic trick. Is what this will this cube like? This has such the lights. Come on, with this one. Well, this, this, this one I'm going to use is my magic, my uh, ice cream magic cup that you'll see just right here. Okay, I'm going to go get one of my ice cubes from the freezer. So here I got my ice cube here. I'm going to place this into here, just like this. Okay, now I'm going to go and take my water. Watch. Now I just melted that. Now I'm gonna need is a container. Watch this. Okay, so I'm gonna put the ice cube in there. And by magic, look what happened. We get a fish from the ice cube. How was this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is your your your, your and You're gonna make sure that you turn this on immediately. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're going to actually is defrost an ice cube. What you wanna do is gonna get your ice cube made, you're gonna preload it with a fish. I will show you what, what that looks like in a second, because I have it in my uh, deep freezer. So come follow me. So here is my deep freezer. I open it up. You can see here is the ice with the fish that you'll see here. You're going to preload pre pre it and let's do this. Make sure it's nice and loose to take out a fish. Let's use this guy. Okay, so how to do this? Make sure that you hide this so that no one gets to see the fish. But going like this, hold the tail. All he sees you holding the ice cube just like this. That's the hold. Next you're gonna need is um, a see-through con container. And you'll need is a cup. Here I chose my ice cream magic cup that you'll see right here. Okay, so now that you got that, you're good to go. So go get your cup and go get your ice cube. First, so like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and gonna place it in the inside, very quick, like this. Make sure the fish does not get exposed. Place it nearly into it. Then in there, you're gonna go get your your kettle, dump the hot water into there, and then this will come out of it. Okay, so once you've got that, you just take this and then this the defrost. It will break free very quickly because of the heat. And there, you can see it's already out and in the water. As you can see right here. What you want to do is take your container and give it a dump. And by magic, a fish comes out of the ice cube, got made from the ice cube, and ends up be into the body of water in your see-through container that you'll see right here. After it's done, go in and take out the fish. Like you'll see, just right there. Makes for a very stunning magic trick that, that you could do at your home over the summertime. And that right there is how you do the summer magic fish cube magic trick. Then, now that brings us right to our fourth trick. That is a magic summer ice cube in the juice cup trick. Here's what this will look like. So you can see my ice cube in here. Okay, I'm gonna actually just take this. Watch. Very carefully. Let's try. I take this out of here. Look. 
and by magic, you can see the ice cube transfers into here from my cup. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is what you're going to see here. And that is our first star. Happens to be the ice cube. All you'll need is two cups, one with a hole cut and one without. What you'll need is a gimmick piece made from an another one. But you'll see just right here. What you want to do is you're going to place your ice cube into here. That you'll see here. Make sure it stands up so they can get to see the ice cube into there like that. Take the one with the hole and place it in like this. Hold. Take your other cup. And you're going to do it in pretty fast like this. And then lift it up. So the ice cube now will fl will 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 uh, uh, flee the cup that you'll see just right here. And after it's done, you can take a look in the inside at the ice cube in your lemonade. Makes it of the coolest trick that you could do. For home fun, let alone at the park and at the beach. And that right there is how you do the Magic Summer Ice Cube in the Juice Cup trick. Then from there we're going to get right down to the pedal of it all, to a pine cone. To our fifth one, and that is the Under the Sun Magic Pine Cone Pedals Magic Trick. And what this one will. Pinecone like. Do you see here? Watch. Very carefully. And by magic, the petals from the pine cone turns into a pine cone from it. How was this pine cone done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is what you're gonna see here. And that is pine cone petals. That actually came from a pine cone, just like this. Have it into your palm. You make sure that you hold this into your palm very carefully. And so that way, make sure it's curled up. That way, the pine cone does not get exposed. Drop these down at the same time as you place this down for this to flee and this to become part of it. So it looks like this. Come over and end up doing that. And by magic, the petals turn themselves directly into a pine cone from it. And there is how you make a, a pine cone just by using the pine cone petals. Makes a good cone what you could do just right under the sun. Where the trees are. And that right there is how you do the under the sun magic pine cone petals magic trick. This one gets into the bird of summer, an ancient bird and a rock. And coming to our sixth trick, and it is the magic ancient sun bird and rock magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. Okay, so you see this ancient bird here and this rock, and I got this twig. Watch this. You can take this twig, give it a wave. Watch this. Wait a minute, let's use, there we go, let's see what gets on that one. Wow! Look at that. How did I get that ancient bird? onto there just by using this 
as it is I'm about to reveal. The secret. All you need is a twig branch, a rock, and a very special ancient bird that you'll see right here. It happens to be a balancing bird. It has uh, weights in the inside as well as the tail. Go on here and it weights like this onto your finger. It, ba it, it balances. What you want to do is put that part onto this with the beak. Just like that. What you're going to do is you're going to take your, your rock and place onto it very carefully. Like that. So that is how I magically transferred the bird from the twig to the rock. Make sure you had the bird on the ground first. And the rock and the twig just right there. That way you can easily take this. Pick this up very, very carefully. Make your way to the rock. Be very careful as you place it on. And by magic, transferring the ancient bird from the twig and have it mount, mounted on the rock that you'll see just right here. And that right there definitely was under the sun with that one. And that right there is how you do the magic ancient sunbird and rock magic trick. Then they're gonna get us right into the hippo of things with the rock. Put the rock in the rock with this one. And coming in to our trick which I like to call the rock dancing magic summer hippo gag. Here's what this one will hippo like for this. I'll see it back in the inside. Have you seen got my hippo? What? <laughs> it's rocking to the rock with the rocks in the water. So how did I get this hippo to do that? I'm about to reveal the secret. He disappeared on my side here, but what? Mr. Cutie. Hey, Mr. Cutie. This is the adorable. Okay, anyways, here's what you'll be need needing for this one. All you need is some rocks. Like you can see here. About four or more. Then you'll need is this hippo. It happens to be a turn hippo. Turn it, and the feet do this. You're gonna get some uh, craft paper or from a, a plate. Make sure you cut it to look like a water shape. What you wanna do here is place your hippo like this. Make sure that this is facing you like this. What you're gonna do is if the rocks is just put it surrounding it just like this. So there's the first one, the second, the other two are going to keep it steady behind it. So I'll place it behind it, so it'll look like this. So come over here, I'll show you. Just right here. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this, hold. And you end up doing that. So that's what you're going to see. What they can see is the hippo da uh, dancing behind the rocks. Makes a perfect one we could do for the kids at home. And at the or beach or park. Turn your hands over. Presenting it like this. And that's how hippos like to rock and roll. <laughs> a pretty cute gig that you can you, you could do with not much prep. And not much practice at all for that one. And there gets the wave in that one as well. And that right there is how you do the 
Rock Dancing Magic Summer Hippo Gag. Hey, you're gonna get a cucumber and multiply it by two. And coming into our next one, and that is the Magic Multiplying Summer Cucumber Magic Trick. Okay, so this will look like this. I'll see you back outside. Can you see this one cucumber here? If it just can take these here, we're gonna actually use some pretty magical of this. gonna actually make them just multiply. Watch. And by magic, my cucumber, summer cucumber, multiplies by three. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. Okay, for this you'll need is real cucumbers that you'll see just right here. Okay, so place it on the step. Now you just need three. And you need is a nice covering. A nice yellow covering that looks like the sun. What you want to do is you're going to preload two, you know, like this, and have this one side up, like this. That way, it's, it stays nice and covered. Place the other one up front, like this, like this. What you want to do here is you're going to take the other sides, and as you, you give it a cover, you're going to actually push this up close. And like this. This now will go over as you place it in, in, in the middle. Cover everything. Wave your hands. Snap your fingers. Magical gesture with the fingers if you want to. And then you gotta do is just open it up. And by magic, one cucumber multiplies into two or three. That you'll see just right here. A very stunning magic, magic trick you could do just right under the sun, at the park, and at the beach. A great way to celebrate the wave, the summer wave. And that right there is how you do the magic multiplying summer cucumber magic trick. Here we're gonna get into the tornado of summer, going into two bottles making it happen and that is at our ninth one the magic summer tornado tornado in the bottle trick is what this bottle will look like okay you can see here i got my, my bottle it's gonna go like this and get a little shake watch the bottle get a tornado be made and a stat it pulls up into it. So how did it get that tornado to be in this one and producing the liquid down to here? Well, as it is, now the time, I will reveal the secret behind this to you right now. Here's what you're going to need to make a tornado happen in the bottle. For this one, you're going to need is the tornado tube that you'll see just right here. Directions are on the back that you'll see just right here. Okay, so you're gonna get yourself that to create this. That tornado in the bottle. Here's what this looks like. Just like this. This is going to allow the tornado to happen because of the grooves in it will, sp will spiral a different direction. So as you turn the bottles, you'll produce the um, tornado in the bottle and having the, the, the liquid tornado and pool into the other one. What you'll need for this are two bottles for this one. Okay, so here is your two bottles. One you're gonna have with some some blue food coloring on the inside and you get this. Make sure that they're cleaned so that way you'll get good seeable ones. What you want to do is going to use this and just screw it on very nice and tightly. And then on goes the other one the same too, we're gonna actually put that on as well. Like that. All you gotta do is you're gonna put this down and you're gonna shake this very quickly. And then look, 
You'll get that. This is the tornado. Okay, again, I'll show you. Okay, again, I'll flip this up again. Like that. Fast. And you get a tornado in the bottle, and then, then you get the liquid falling down to the other one. A very fun trick that you could do for kids of all ages as well as adults too. Number one, great. They'll put in the wave, in the wave, in the ocean or in the sea with poetry. Like, it's kind of like a, like a poetry in motion with that one. And that right there is how you do the magic summer tornado in the bottle trick. Then we get directly right down to our tenth one here on our installment 19. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And that is the under. The Sun Magic Water Jellyfish Trick. Here's what this jellyfish will look like. So you can see I got my little jellyfish here. I'm going to place this in the inside of it. Watch. Come close. I'll just uh, place this aside. Look. And by magic, Look, it gives us a light show inside here. Wow, that is cool. So how did I get that to do that? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secret. For this, you're going to need uh, these jellyfish that are light up jellyfish. You can also activate it by your finger onto the DC right here. It lights up. So there's two of these that comes into a pack. If you want to see the packaging, I'll show you right now. So here is the packaging, or this belongs to this line of jellyfish. You can see what it looks like on the back. So what we're going to do to create the color change, I'll show you. And that is by the use of a nice sun looking bandana that you'll see just right here. Since I use a blue, I'll do this for the change. Place into here, hold like this, and hold it like that. Go into a tub, or into like whatever like that, and you can get that. So I only have one out, and you're good to go. So make sure that you get your, your uh, tub, um, like say, uh, with blue or green whatever, like that. Make it nice and magical. Gonna do is gonna actually place this into here, grab this, and just drop it in. From there, giving the light show. So that's how the change happens. So from here, be quick, and then end up doing that. Keeping this palmed at all times. As now you're gonna fold it over. That way, they won't get to see this. All you see is the change made flashing inside the tub, or in the lake, or down in the water at the beach. And now for a close-up. Makes a really cool uh, um, trick that you could do for kids of all ages as well as adults too. And that there is how you get magic from the water right for everyone. So go out south it and wave in the summer wave with that one. Very under under the sun like. And that right there is how you do the under the sun magic water jellyfish trick. Then to our eleventh one we get to that is the summer magic starfish plate and lobster magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. You see I got my starfish right here plate. I'm gonna take one away from here. All these lobsters. Okay, you're gonna put one on the side here. Watch this. And by magic, I make it jump right back. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a starfish plate and three lobsters that you'll see just right here. What you wanna do is take one and give it one a palm, just like this. Take the other two and have them on a the plate. Take one away and put it into your pocket. 
I gotta do is I'm gonna brush this down very quickly like this. And by magic, it'll jump right back on the starfish plate that you'll see just here. And that right there is how you do the, the summer magic starfish plate and lobsters magic trick. Now we are gonna get to, to our 12th one, and that is the magic sun sponge trip prank. Here's what this one will look like. Here, I got my uh, sun sponge here. I got this. Watch. And by magic, a little bit of juice gets produced from it. How's this done? I'm about to reveal the secret. All you need is a CC container, a sponge, and some juice. You're going to sop this up and have it into here. So get a tin, and I'm going to preload it, load this, just like this, with the juice. And you get to go make sure all the drips are off, and you're good to go. Here. You're going to now is to hold it like this. Take this, and then by magic, you get a squeeze in the inside, and juice magically comes from the sun sponge. And that right there is how you do the magic sun sponge trip prank. Then that puts us right down to our 13th one, and that is the magic appearing Jaru spike wand magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. Magic, I'm gonna get up here and gives it like so. How is this one done? I'm about to reveal the secret. Coming up for our next one. The revealing of it. So stay tuned for that one.